we're going to be checking out three pipes tonight in a pipe smoking review. This is my maybe fifth one that I've done that I think you're going to enjoy. Stay tuned. Welcome, George Bruno here, also known to many as the Sultan of Silver, and today we're going to do a few reviews as a result of a Yabo. I got a gift of three pipes from Morgan Pipes, and I want to review those quickly and share that information with you. As you know, I'm a big pipe fan and various pipe tobaccos, uh, fan of uh, blending my own and so forth, making my own. But Chris Morgan reached out to me, wanted to send me some stuff and uh, review it, and I'm going to be giving some things that are made in Voyage today. He sent me three particular items that I want to share with you. First one is a Bones pipe. This is a Bulldog. Let me just get up there. Can you see that? This is a natural finish with the slightest coating of Carnauba wax on the outside. etched, a diamond shank, I mean incredible. Look at this. See that? It's beautiful. Now this is going to kind of color and change as time goes on. This is, I've always viewed bulldog pipes as kind of a hardy, manly man's pipe. This is really nice. I really like this. Now, what will happen is, this is unsmoked. As you can see, I haven't even fired these up. So, I bought a pipe several years ago that was very similar to this. In color, it was just raw briar. Briar is kind of like a beige, pinkish color when it's cut. That's what this was. And after three years of smoking it, it changed colors, not only from the pipe tobacco working its way out of the briar, because briar breathes, but also the oils in my hands. And it has kind of a rough sandblasted finish. Now, I'm assuming, and this is a great style too, I'm assuming that the Bones pipe is going to do the same thing. That, that original pipe was this color, just like this. And it's called Bones. And the Bones pipe comes uh, with a little pouch, which is real nice. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is put in... Uh, I have some tobaccos here real quick. And I'm going to put them on the Cadillac cutting board. Some people have asked me, why do you call it the Cadillac cutting board? Because I went to a... Uh, I guess it was like a farm-to-table event sponsored by Cadillac. And they gave everybody a Cadillac cutting board, hence <laughs> hence the Cadillac logo. So what I do is I cut all my tobacco on there. So I'm going to take some Burley Light Without Bite BLWB, put that on the Cadillac cutting board, and then I take my razor and just kind of section it off. I'm going to be doing three pipes today. And then, this is like my favorite tobacco of all time. I used to like Dunhill Early Morning Pipe, and then I tried Dunhill Early Morning Pipe Match, and it was out of this world. I liked it more than the original Dunhill, and then that got discontinued. And then I found Daybreak, which is a hearth and home product from Pipes and Cigars, and I love this. This is my favorite tobacco. I used to wonder what guys were talking about when they said, ah, oh, they like getting up in the morning and having a cup of coffee and a pipe. And I never understood that until I got this, Daybreak by Hearth and Home at PipesAndCigars.com. I'm going to put that in one of the pipes. The second pipe is a Blackjack pipe by Morgan Pipes. Do you love this thing or what? It's got that laser etching on it right there. Can you see that? There we go. Never smoked. Black. Sandblasted. A nice flat bit. 
very nice and flat. And short, stubby, fits in the hand perfect, and I'm a very tactile. I like the way these things feel. And already, just grabbing it now with some of the oils in my hands, I can see it discoloring a little bit. So I'm looking forward to this, the color that it's going to change. And then the third thing is the Briar Cigar that Chris sent me. It comes in its own little case and uh, a little card for instructions. This is really neat. It's a sandblasted briar. It's the size of a cigar. It's got like a little bit right here, an acrylic bit, and that twists off. Goes on there pretty easily. And then this little cap, which is kind of textured like an ash, that comes off as well. Pull that off. Can you see that? And you load that up like a pipe and you smoke that like a cigar, but everyone will be surprised because it smells like a pipe. So we're going to be firing that up. So let me tell you about the Bones pipe. Um, Morgan Pipes calls it a simple smoking machine, sandblasted and finished with a coat of carnauba wax, and it's going to age and turn an interesting color. I'm guessing it's going to end up like this. I don't know. We'll see. But like I said, uh, this was kind of like a pinkish beige about... I'd say three years ago, and it has just aged beauty. And I, this is not a shellac or a stain or anything on there. This is the color of the tobacco mixed with the oils from my hand, and it's beautiful, just beautiful. Uh, the the bulldog pipe, this right here, this bones pipe goes for thirty nine dollars at morganpipes.com. Super affordable for a a beautiful pipe like this. Um, I, and I love how flat that is. Light, easily clenchable, without like a little, without a rubber bit on the end. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be really nice. The Blackjack, this is handcrafted in Italy. Let's take a look at this. Handcrafted in Italy. They come in three shapes. This one's called the Hangin' Brandy. See that? It's got a Delrin tenon on it, so it's not going to snap. And that just goes in there like that. I always tend to put a little bit of beeswax on the tenons, just so I'm not going to be breaking anything. Never smoked. And this goes for $119. It comes in three shapes. And I think this is called the Hangin' Brandy, because it's kind of shaped like a, a brandy snifter, I guess. And it's got that really neat laser-etched blackjack. Can you see that? That blackjack logo on there. We're going to fire that up. And then I need to show you how to use this as well. This is the Briar Cigar. Now, one of my favorite cigars is the Rocky Patel Vintage 1999. Very distinct smell. It's, this is like a symphony orchestra right here. This tobacco's aged. It's beautiful. I'm walking on the boardwalk, oh, maybe about seven or eight years ago in Jersey, and I pass a guy with gray hair and a beard like mine, and we pass each other, and I just said, Rocky Patel, Vintage 99. He stops, turns around, looks at his cigar and says, How did you know? I said, It's a very distinct smell. I could tell out a mile away. I, I knew what it was as I saw you approaching. Without even looking at the band, I knew by the smell. So, But this is a 5.5 um, by 50 ring size. Now take a look. All right, so this is five inches, and this would be more like a 52 ring size. Can you see that? It's just a slight bit bigger than my one of my favorite size cigars. So the Briar Cigar is a 5 by 52 ring size. It does come polished or sandblasted. I kind of like the sandblast finish only because I like the texture. 
And for me, texture also helps dissipate heat. It puts in, uh, a layer of insulative air between your fingers and the actual briar itself. So we're going to fire that up in just a second here. And I have a few different tampers here for the different size holes. Now, let's see, what are we going to do? I have um, Burly Light without the bite. I have Daybreak. And then this one right here is, this is Lane TK6, which is a a cherry, kind of a cherry blend that has, but, but it's not a goopy um, cough medicine kind of cherry. It's got a vanilla and spicy note to it, almost a creamy caramel kind of thing, so you're not going to get this hardcore cherry thing going on. So let's just uh, try the Bones Pipe real quick. I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put the cherry in that, the TK6. Gravity method means you just drop it in, and I'm not going to totally pack it out. Slight tamp. This is a 150-year-old tamper. It's actually a stop from a German pipe organ, the Principal 8. Principal 8. Can you see that? This thing is badass. I love this. All right, so let's just fire this up. I can't tell everything from a quick firing up, but I will tell you this, that... I will be able to comment on the draft. I will be able to comment on the draw. So let's just try that real quick. I will say this is actually a perfect smoke. The draw is perfect. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 10. And for those that are tactile, uh, it's got a nice feel to it, and the bit is really nice. It's not, it's not intrusive. It's not like you're... Uh, like sucking on a lollipop or a, like a popsicle kind of thing. It's nice and flat, so it kind of fits in the horizontal crack of your mouth. <laughs> you don't have to work hard to get a draw on that. I like it very much. Uh, the cost of that is $39. Quite incredible at morganpipes.com. Let's try the blackjack. This is $119. They come in different shapes. And I'm going to put the Burly Light without bite in it. Gravity method means that I'm just kind of dropping it in. Hold on. I just saw a hair in there. <laughs> Probably from my arms. I have, like, pretty hairy arms. All right. I'll try this tamper. This was a gift from Boswell's pipes, given to me by Mr. Rizzo, an auto mechanic who's one of my clients, one of my favorite tam It's a briar tamper. You like that? I love this thing. It just feels good. down after the charring light. I'm feeling it, man. I am so... Fe this could so easily be a car pipe for me. The draw is perfect. The bowl is nice and big and deep. Easily tamped with a smaller tamper. That's a 38 shell brass casing for. I save all I save all the uh, shells from when I go shooting, and I use them to make tampers. 
rather than just throw them out or reload. Perfect. This is such a perfect smoking pipe. Man, you're going to love this. You are really going to love this. And this will fit in my pouch, too. You know what? This might end up being my, what I call, like, my Vespa pipe. This would fit in my leather zip pouch that I keep in the seat, underneath the seat of the Vespa. So this is perfect. Love it. Already a big fan. Now, the Briar Cigar. Laser etched. Briar Cigar. A great size. I'm going to cut up my tobacco just a little bit. Make it a little more granular. And not as, like, shag cut. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. And gals. I want to be able to drop this freely in here. I don't want to jam it too tight. Now this is a reverse calabash, which means there's a chamber, there's the actual hole that you put the, put the tobacco in. Like that. See that? You put it in just like you would load a, a regular pipe. And that goes this far back. And then it goes through a small hole and then goes through a big chamber which cools off the smoke. So it literally is kind of a two stage process. So what you're getting is a cooler smoke where you're getting more of the flavor. Now I'm using the 38 tamper and this is the copper spoon this is the one that I made small enough to go in here just barely barely doing that now the neat thing about this is this is called a briar cigar because it's kind of like a mock-up of a real cigar and I've never smoked one of these so this is a live <laughs> demo this beautiful little kind of like fake ash thing it's got an o-ring on it and let's see and that just goes on there like that. So you can carry it in your pocket, your briefcase, stick it in your glove compartment, and keep your tobacco. It's This is about a 15 or 20 minute smoke. Let's screw this off. It behaves like a traditional pipe. It has a cool smoke because of the reverse calabash system and design. 52 ring size, about 5 inches in length. And this go, the sandblasted version goes for 139. The smooth version, which is, I don't have any smooth pipes here, but like a polished version where you can see the, the grain of the briar goes for 159. Because it takes a lot more work to polish a pipe and, and bring that grain out. But like I said, I kind of like the textured thing. Anything that's a little more textured, I think, is a cooler. Now, even this is not smooth. It's a little textured. You see that? And for you tactile holics, you'll you'll understand what I what I'm getting at. So here we go. I'm using the dinosaur on a Vespa Bic lighter because that reminds me of me, a dinosaur on a Vespa. <laughs> Tamp that down. This is a very, very light English. Let me just change this camera because we're getting some sunshine coming through here, peeking through. Wow. I'm digging it. There's no flat spots in this, so you can kind of like rotate it in your mouth.
There we go, that's better. From where you are, does this look like a regular cigar to you or a briar cigar? I think it kind of looks like a regular cigar. And I, I'm digging the whole calabash thing because it really does cool off the smoke. This particular daybreak tobacco does have a tendency to burn hot if you puff it too much. I kind of like that little nub thing right there, that little button, which you can just kind of clench in between your teeth. Well done. I could smoke this to the very, very end, but I'm not. I'm going to close it up right now. I don't think you can go wrong with any of these. We have the, the bones for 39. We have the blackjack for 119, and we have the briar cigar for 139 at morganpipes.com. Uh, the larger pipes come with a this uh, the blackjack pipe comes with a microfiber pouch. The bones pipe has a canvas pouch. The briar cigar has this container here, which is kind of indexed and kind of stays in there like that. Or you can just carry it in your pocket. I like the idea of carrying this in your pocket. A lot of times, if you put a pipe in your pocket, there's a possibility that it could break, obviously, if you sit down or bend over. Um, this right here will just fit in your pocket without breaking. So I hope that's helpful. Chris from Morgan Pipes, thank you very much. Uh, folks, I'm going to put the links down below to Morgan Pipes, how you can get yourself a Morgan Pipe. I highly recommend them. And you know, from the past, I will not review something if I don't like it. I don't give negative reviews. People say, well, then you're not being honest. Oh, I am being honest. I only give positive reviews if it's a positive effect. If it's negative, or I have a negative opinion about something, I don't do it. I've turned actually turned products away because I wasn't fans of the products. So I can say that we hit it out of the park with these right here. We hit it out of the park. Morganpipes.com. He's also on all the social media sites. And I find them to be quality pipes, and I think you're really going to like them. I think they need to be in your pipe smoking arsenal. And discover what tobaccos work best in them. I just gave you an example of some of the things that I used. The burly light without the bite. The Daybreak and the TK6. Let's fire this up. Perfect. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Great little pipe review here tonight. I'm really, really digging this. So I'm going to sit out here and drink my beverage and finish a few pipes. Thanks for watching. Check out morganpipes.com.